Hi Gemini, welcome to your June 2021 general reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun and Rising Signs. General reading here today guys, if love pops up we'll talk about it. Of course spirit will give us what it gives us. But um, general energy is here mostly. So a little bit of everything. Offering something new this month guys, if you're interested in the... There will be an extended reading here for the generals. I don't normally do them, but I am going to start to do them. So if you would like to find out more, I will be doing a full reading here, but there will be an extended available. Two ways that you can view that, either on Vimeo by clicking the link below, or you can, new this month, join my channel membership, my Band of Gypsies, at the extended reading access level and there you get access to all of the extendeds for the month including the love readings for as long as you remain a member okay let's get started here gemini from my beautiful gemini's what is the message here for gemini what does gemini need to hear for june please for the air sign of gemini what does gemini need to hear oh lapis lazuli one of my favorites not wearing any today but sometimes i do Temple of Lapis Lazuli, the goddess of the ancient skies. We'll see where that one goes. Uh, let's also get the energy around Gemini for the month of June. What is the energy? Well, excuse me. Let's get the elemental oracle. What is the energy, please, around Gemini for June? The energy around Gemini for June, please, Spirit Guides. The energy around Gemini for June. The energy. Oh, we've got power, volcanic activity, passion, power. Ooh, okay. Something's firing up here, Gemini. Let's take a look. What does Gemini need to hear, please, Spirit Guides, for June? What does Gemini need to hear for June? We've got Elders. Uh, so I'm getting an energy around that of uh, uh, perhaps an older parent or someone here. It could even be someone who's no longer on the earthly plane. Uh, there is an ancestral energy around that as well, uh, wisdom from elders or, or just dealing with uh, perhaps uh, uh, people who are older than you, Gemini. Uh, let's see, what should the focus be? What should the focus be, please, for Gemini? What should the focus be for Gemini for June? What should the focus be? We have the Holy Stone, card of protection. And let's get your familiar for the month. Please show me the surrounding energy. What surrounds Gemini here, please, Spirit Guides? What surrounds Gemini for June? We've got the lizard. Lizard energy. Interesting energies that I'm picking up around you here, Gemini. Let me start with the Temple of Lapis Lazuli. This is a card of being an old soul. So you may feel a little bit out of place, so you may feel like you you don't exactly fit in. Uh, there's an energy around this of being or resonating at a higher vibration, a higher level of consciousness. And there's challenge with this card because uh, being that old soul, you can feel out of place, especially if you're going through an adjustment process there's wisdom here and this inner wisdom vibrates at a higher level than lower vibrations of fear aggression dominance and disconnection yeah so the energy that i'm getting around this volcanoes here is one of resentment holding in something holding in something to a point where it explodes okay uh, yes, there, it's it's not, it's like um, uh, some of you Gemini's might have felt like you have been excluded. Some of you may have felt like uh, something gone in the way, uh, and now I 
I see this energy around you of not being able to take it anymore. It feels like I've, I've, I've had enough. I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. I want things to change in my life. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Because we've got this energy of elders around you. Now, there's two ways that you could take this card. For some of you, it's very literal. It's about how we treat uh, people who are um, perhaps... Um, Hmm. let's just say uh, there are certain cultures that view uh, older people as a, as a burden as someone who uh, or as people that have become burdens but of course these are the very people that raised us so uh, you know did they think of us as burdens when we were children um, maybe some of them did but uh, you know it's it's all part of the human process isn't it so it's kind of like um, someone who sees an elder as perhaps holding them back uh, there's an energy here of some resentment around being responsible for another person uh, now our elders of course don't want us to feel that way uh, they are in a, a tough position they don't want to be where they're at uh, certainly and they don't want to feel there's an energy here of not wanting to feel like a burden okay so some of you may also resonate as that we have the holy stone and this is a card which is uh, an astral energy it feels like uh, protection of the goddess protection of the goddess the holy stone protection of the goddess again it's very high vibrational energy there's wisdom here there is a psychic awareness so there seems to be messages that are trying to get through here. Psychic awareness. Okay, awareness. You know, I'm kind of getting it off this, this older energy here. Uh, it may be a message that this person is trying to get across, but may be being blocked in some way. Maybe you're not listening. Maybe they're not speaking out loud enough uh, there's an energy here of needing to get some something communicated uh, to someone who is younger uh, but there is still this old soul energy I'm picking up around the younger person the card of lizard and survival this feels to me like someone who's standing up for themselves during a time of change when you think of lizards well they are literally ancient but why are they still here? It's because they've adapted. They've learned to adapt to changes. So there's an energy here of, I feel like something that can be learned from this older person here about adapting to change. Adapting to change and doing it, okay. And, and releasing resentment. Sometimes we, uh, the resentment we feel about others holding us back uh, that, that person doesn't, uh, honestly, I, I'm getting that strong energy that this person doesn't want someone to feel resentful of them. I mean, yeah, goodness. So I feel like there needs to be an open and honest conversation about responsibilities, obligations, how each other feels regarding obligations. Okay, so let's see where this goes, guys. Um, again, won't be for everyone. Uh, this is for sun and rising signs, so feel free to check out your other placements if you're not dealing with this kind of energy. Uh, but that's just the overall. Of course, we'll go in deeper here with the tarot. I have been meditating on your energy, Gemini. So let's do a few more shuffles for you. Yeah, I get someone blowing, blowing off, blowing their top, blowing off steam. Uh, a conversation that needs to be had here, but it's going to be. I feel like it's needed. It's it's something here that is needed to be spoken about. But the way in which it's spoken, I feel, is going to be important in terms of receptivity. How receptive both of you are to the message that each of you has okay let's see here Gemini will start with the six of wands very nice 
the Ten of Cups. Very good. The Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel that that's this, uh, this talk that needs to be had. We have the Eight of Coins. Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. The Queen of Coins in reverse. The Three of Coins in reverse. The Moon. The King of Coins in reverse. Okay. Gemini. Let's start with the Six of Wands. Uh, yeah, there's something here that you want to achieve. It feels like you want to put an end to something. Okay, you want... Okay, this is what I'm getting. It feels like something has recently ended for you, Gemini. Now, it could be a number of different things. For some of you, it was a, a, a job. For others of you, it may have been a relationship. But I am getting it more associated with uh, job and career. And you're wanting to... Uh, your focus right now seems to be on... Well, getting another job, getting... Uh, uh, feeling successful feeling like things are going well in your life, getting yourself back on top. Uh, you seem to have been, some of you Geminis have been going through a rather difficult period where you felt uh, perhaps less, less successful. Uh, some of you, you've always believed, I get this energy of believing in yourself. I'm, I'm not getting an energy of lack of confidence here at all. It just feels like circumstantial. Uh, something that feels circumstantial, you feel it's unfair, things that have happened around you that were not under your control, uh, that have kept you back, held you back, Gemini. But with the Ten of Cups here, this is about ultimate fulfillment, uh, uh, not just in terms of family either. I see this as something that provides you with... Uh, Contentment with a sense of peace, harmony, unity with others. Yeah, you do, you don't. The thing is, you're not the type of person that uh, that wants arguments. I don't feel that you uh, you like to have emotional confrontations. Uh, so you want to keep the harmony. You want to you, you want to keep everything nice and happy uh, with everyone around you. I get that, and you're always. Uh, it's not that you're a people pleaser. I, I just feel like, Gemini, you're the, the sort of person that wants to see other people happy and content. Uh, absolutely. So when it comes to the Page of Swords, this is this conversation that I was picking up between you and another person. There's a sense of purpose and readiness here to open up, to discuss. Uh, to speak one's truth. This is very... Um, I also get it as a, a willingness to adapt, to try something new. Now, some of you are with the Eight of Coins. Some of you... Are finding, yeah, I get this as, as finding work that is uh, more aligned with your greater purpose. This Temple of Lapis Lazuli, I do feel, is about an awareness of a greater purpose in life. Uh, something that you really want to work towards that feels more important to you at the moment. Okay, so yes, something's ended, but there's a lot of realization around you that there's something better, there's something more in terms of, yeah, something that's going to pay off for you more long term. Uh, there is some difficulties around that. I feel like it's, it's, it's going to be a hard slog finding that thing. But you're, you've got the determination, you've got the will. I feel like you, you know what it is. I'm, I'm 
feel like I'm talking to a Gemini who knows what they want. They're going after it. They they are willing to get their hands dirty. They're willing to uh, put in the effort that's required uh, to get to get this going. And it feels like you're sa you you've, you're pulling a rabbit out of a hat here. Uh, you you're pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Uh, you're making. Uh, lemonade out of lemons here uh, something is really turning around for you Gemini that one that you thought was a bad thing something's turning around it's actually turning out to be good an opportunity for you to really make some important changes in your life uh, something perhaps that you've wanted to do for a long time uh, uh, or perhaps you, you didn't think it was going to go down this way or at this particular time but now that the time is here you're taking it on board and you're saying okay right I need to do this now no more putting it off no more procrastinating I'm going to do this and it does feel like your your recovery it's, it feels like recovery after being quite uh, laid low something that happened there that you felt was uh, a betrayal of some kind uh, you felt was particularly unfair uh, circumstantial is what I'm getting circumstantial you know sometimes if you're in this temple of lapis lazuli energy you can tend to be uh, scapegoated by other people because of your different because you're vibrating at a different level uh, people see you as perhaps uh, different uh, than them and you and we all know what happens there when when people are somehow uh, I get uh, uh, triggered or intimidated by people who are different than them in some way uh, unfortunately when you go on the, the spiritual journey or if you're an older older soul uh, then you can come across as somehow mm, people may perceive you as someone who is uh, maybe arrogant or uh, yeah I get that uh, but you, it's not you're not that it's a perception and it's because you're just vibrating at a different level than them your consciousness level is higher and the vibration is higher and so other people tend to be uh, the reaction to that can be mixed uh, there'll be some people that are very drawn to that uh, and other people will not be able to relate and they may act out in a way which is very negative so I feel like that's happened in the past now I actually feel like there's an opportunity around you here Gemini to I get Finding your soul tribe, finding people who are like you, finding people or a person who vibrates at your level there. So you 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 don't feel lonely, isolated, out of place. Let's take a look. We've got the Queen of Coins in the reverse. Now this is the block. It could be someone who you've perceived as a drain in some way not necessarily financially although it certainly could be that or there is an energy of uh, lack of independence it could be you Gemini that's had this with a, an older person uh, for some of you it's a, it's a spouse it's a, where there has been an age difference uh, there may have been a reliance there on someone who is older and you're having to kind of uh, respect their wishes, uh, do as they want because they are somehow uh, holding the purse strings or there's something that you need from them financially. Again, getting kind of a codependence kind of energy around this. So there's an, a need here to be more independent, uh, to break free of this. Uh, it doesn't mean that you don't love this person anymore, uh, especially if it's a family member. Of course, uh, I still feel that there's 
love here but there is a, a need to be independent to step away to do one's own things okay perhaps to have one's own family here with this ten of cups now we also have the three of coins in reverse Gemini yeah it, it feels like this uh, there has been a, a breakdown in terms of I get the breaking apart of a group of people could be in the workplace that I'm picking this up I do feel it's related to work so embracing this change a need to be flexible to see this as rather than a, a bad thing as an opportunity to switch things up to change things yeah because I don't feel that you were all that happy where you were anyway uh, Gemini so it seems like it's a good opportunity to make some not just change when it comes to your work here but also looking looking further down the track at your life and where it's going so spending some time well I feel it's forced actually I feel like this is forced forced you to have more time on your hands and because you have more time on your hands you're thinking more about your future uh, where you're headed okay now we have the moon around you so it's it is a an energy of mystery or some fear as well uh, that's only natural uh, there's this energy of survival around you survival of the fittest uh, you feel like uh, you're the underdog I get that uh, you feel like you're the underdog uh, you but you you have this uh, there's a toughness around you Gemini absolutely uh, you're not the type of person who's gonna lay down here and just let life steamroll over them no I see you getting back up there showing a lot of determination and courage and saying you know what I'm not gonna let this stop me okay I've lost this this position or I've lost this job or I need to make this change here I may not know the way ahead but you know what I'm gonna embrace it and plow ahead and and uh, I see with work with effort you're going to be able to really achieve well not only if you're looking for a new job I feel like you're going to uh, head towards achieving that but I also see it as uh, you achieving uh, happiness around people who are more on your level and that's going to be something that's quite unexpected something that you don't see coming yeah I feel like in the past you've felt out of place you haven't felt like you fit in there's a disconnect with what you've been working at working towards the people around you you felt that disconnect but moving forward what you don't see is that there's going to be more connection it's, it's like the universe has stepped in here to provide this volcano or this tower moment here to blow up the energy of the past here to put you back on a track that's leading you towards yeah I get your soul tribe people who are gonna get you uh, people who are not gonna make you feel unwanted unwelcome yeah we've got the king of coins in the reverse Gemini yeah you know uh, the energy that I'm getting around this is one of what's important ultimately what's important for you moving forward I mean we've got the king of coins and the queen of coins both in reverse so it seems like uh, Gemini you're really moving away from something that okay I'm getting this like a some kind of partnership uh, again it could be a, a spouse or ex-spouse uh, for others of you it's like a, a mother figure or an elderly parent or an elderly relative 
and the focus has been mainly on I get it as a practical thing uh, money is involved codependence and I get this as a relationship that really needs to be changed the dynamic here because it's it's not working it's not working the practicalities of it are not working the practicalities are not working um, I feel that someone's needs are being not being met the other person's needs are being yes are being met but uh, too much so I okay it's kind of it's skewed too much towards I feel this queen of coins in reverse energy the king of coins in reverse I feel is uh, the Gemini who feels resentment about this resentment of giving too much of their energy time money towards another person here yeah protection that holy stone I want to talk about that for a moment now that is associated with blessings I also see this as psychic protection it does feel like being aware of energies that are circulating becoming more aware of a higher be of, of you actually uh, being more aware of your energy it seems like Gemini you're not normally someone who is sensitive to the energies but I do feel that you're being given an opportunity here to to tune in this Queen of Coins energy tuning into the energies of something that has become oppressive or draining so you're becoming a lot you're becoming very aware of the drain of this during the month of June and I get that something's got to give something's going to blow here uh, you've been holding on to that energy of draining it, it's gonna blow you're gonna blow you're gonna blow here uh, Gemini now normally you are one here who, who wants to keep the peace but it feels to me like something is just going to have to be said now of course the best advice here is yes to speak your truth but do it without being um, harsh or cruel would be your best advice moving forward obviously so let's see uh, before uh, we go to the extended and the extended will be in two places you can view it on the Vimeo the link is down below or you can go to my band of gypsies channel membership there are ways you can do that you can click on the join button below or look in the box for the link and join my uh, channel membership and at the extended access uh, level you can get all of the extended readings for the month for every month that you remain a member that's including the love readings and not only that you get early access to the YouTube readings as well so a nice perk there but before we go let's take a look here I want to get a message for my beautiful Gemini's for the month of June please message for Gemini please for the month of June we've got the peony prosperity and compassion prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want mm, that's interesting so what does prosperity mean to you I feel that that's a question here that you're being asked to look at prosperity depends more on wanting what you do have rather than on having what you want okay so taking a look at your life taking a look at things that are around you people jobs 
circumstances and is this what I really want? Is this what I really want? So it seems like you 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 really wow I get this energy here of uh, trying to decide if this is if this is truly what you want. Prosperity and compassion. Okay, well, we'll look at this further in the extended, guys. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy shop and purchase directly there. The link is down below. Don't forget to press that little like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Please share me on your social media. Please subscribe if you're a newcomer. I'd love to have you guys. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please do take care, and bye for now, Gemini.